Well, if y'all are down here at Murphy's Row, why don't you stop by Oflo? We are Christian based and we make everything from scratch. We have dessert items, we have savory sweets, cheesecakes, you name it. And we also have Red Bull energized Red Bull. drinks. Okay. Yeah. Now, what was the coffee you just made me? You made me you made me this cup cup of coffee right here. Yeah. What what is this? It's called Mexican. Um what is it? Sorry, I work in the back, so I don't know, but I made her, I made Mexican her Mexican mocha. mocha. Oh, okay. Has, did you taste the nutmeg in I it? I like it. Mm. It has nutmeg, I think some cinnamon, but a little spicy, but it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Now, y'all are right here across from the courthouse. See the courthouse right there? Yeah. And um, uh, now Yo. tell, tell, tell folks how you and I met. Oh, okay. Um. Me and Mike Sparks, we met at a digital marketing class, social media marketing at MTSU. class. At MTSU. At MTSU, yeah. He's my classmate. Yeah, and I was going to get you to be our intern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really excited about being his intern. You know, I was pumped. But last minute, I found out that if I were to do that, I would not be able to graduate on time. Yes, yes. So, really sad about that. Yes. Um, now, I was sharing, oh, in class... Because none of y'all watch television. None of y'all watch 2, 4, 5, 17, nothing. Now, t tell, tell folks how, where you get your news at, what you said it's in class. embarrassing, but yeah. we get our news from the TikTok. So. No, it was another one. It was TikTok, but it was another. Remember the cartoon? Yeah, so the SpongeBob Fish anchor news person, he's <laughs> on TikTok, so... <laughs> It's crazy. Yes. You know, he will act as a news anchor, but he's a fish from SpongeBob. And people will usually go on TikTok and search up news and go on recent and whatever this fish is saying yes. is what's happening around the world. That's I, It's crazy. Anyways, it's kind of crazy. Your generation's a little, little different, <laughs> unique than, than mine, that's for sure. Now, you came over where I was sitting and showed me that yeah. the, the news... And then after class, remember I, I talked to you and, and share what you said right there in front of the professor. Yeah. Remember what you told me? I don't remember. It was last year and I talked a lot. Well, later. it was in November. It wasn't that far back. But remember what you said? You've been studying. You were studying. You are studying remember. Christianity. Remember you shared that with me? Oh, that story. Yes. yes. So I didn't know anything about Christianity at all. Um, I I had heard of Jesus, but I had I had no clue on who he Cause was. Because you're from the country of Nepal. Mm -hmm. and how old were you when you came over? I was 12. 12, yes. okay. So you were raised um, Hindu? Hindu. Hindu. I was okay. raised a Hindu, but I didn't really know what Hindu is even about. I was never really religious or anything of that. Yeah. I also practiced New Age for a little bit, but I recently, I would say five months ago, four or five months ago, learned about Jesus Christ. Yes. And I feel like all these years, I I did not know the truth, you know? Yes. And I'm just, I'm so happy that I'm in the light now. And Amen. Well, who, who invited you to church or started talking to you? Okay. Um. So this one day I was at campus and they had little tents in my campus. Yes. And they were giving out free ice creams. So I, I it was hot. So I was like, ah, I want some ice cream. <laughs> yes. So I went to go get an ice cream and um, one of the people there invited me to church and they gave me a card of people of hope and they told me to come to church and I said, I'm not going to the church, you know. Mm -hmm. And the next day I'm on Instagram, I'm just scrolling and then I see people of hope, the same church. Then I'm thinking, is this a sign? This is the second time I've seen this church. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you know, a couple weeks go by, and I'm like, ah, I feel like I want to go to a church. Yeah. I just have a feeling in my heart I want to go to a church. And the only church that I had heard of or seen twice now is People of Hope. So I ended up going there. Yeah. Man, it was the most beautiful sermon ever. Um, it was talking about how Father... Heavenly Father never makes a mistake, and your earthly father will make mistakes because he's also human, and yes. that just really like touched my heart. And I started crying 
and I did, I never cried before, especially whenever I would go to temples or anything like that. I never cried before. Yeah. And you know, I was told that you know it's the Holy Spirit touching your heart and you're crying, and I'm like, what is the Holy Spirit? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm like, I want to learn more. What is this? Yes. What is this Christianity? I want to learn more. Yeah. And yeah, I've been learning for four or five months, and I'm getting baptized this Sunday. Wow, cool, cool. Now, what's your boyfriend's name? His name is Aaron. How you, how you say it again? You can call him Aaron or Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and the coffee shop here, again, the name is? The name is O-Flow. O, and then O-Flow. Flow. One word. Like O-Flow. But yes. Just take the o from overflow. Yeah. yeah, and I was and I was just talking to um, to the to the owner, Doug. Uh, Doug Doug Berg, right? Mm-hmm. Doug Berg. He's from I guess New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. He lives in Franklin, mm-hmm. and um, uh, and so everything here is made that morning. The cheesecakes and everything what else do y'all serve? Baked. Um, I come in around six a.m. in the morning, and we start, you know. And you're learning to bake. Yeah, I'm, I'm a baker's assistant, so I'm in the kitchen helping him bake. Cool, um, cool. We make cheesecakes, we make key lime pies, we make gluten-free pies also, banana pudding, yes. scones. Cookies. Hey, well, tell me, I know um, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot because we had not rehearsed none of this. Um, you're kind of like a TikTok celebrity in a way, okay? <laughs> Well, how many video, how many hits you get on that one video I heard you talking about in class? Yeah, so I have one video that has reached 1.6 million. Wow. But before that video reached 1.6 million, I had another video that is almost at a million views now. And what was the subject? What were you doing the video on? The first video that reached almost a million, I was just talking about the TikTok celebrity Charlie D'Amelio mm-hmm. going on Walmart. Um, having a photo shoot, doing a um, cosplay type of thing. And I was just I was just talking. I was just being authentic myself. And I was just literally talking. I, I was making that video for my friends. I didn't think anybody was going to see yeah. the video. And then I go to the library because I'm doing some studying. And my phone is just blowing up. And I'm like, what is going on? I check my phone. And it's just thousands and thousands and thousands of views and people commenting. I'm like, what is going on? Really? And I come back to my school and I'm telling everybody this story. So boom, next week I'm like, hmm, let me let me let me intentionally try to do something and see what works. So I'm playing around with the different filters, different yeah. caption ideas, trying to get people to start talking, you know. And I tried this one filter out, it, and that was trending at that moment. And the next day I wake up and it has like a million views. Wow. And it's growing every day. So right now it's at like 1.6 million views. And the video is very short. You have to keep in mind TikTok. They want you to make long type of videos. Yeah. But um, it's this generation, they don't have... Attention span. Yeah. So It's to equal to a goldfish, right? We exactly. learned that in class. 10 to 15 seconds. The video yeah. is very short. I would say like 6, 7 seconds. Well, what are you going to do? Uh, what, what's you and, and other under your peers... That are on TikTok. What are y'all gonna do if Congress bans TikTok? I mean, I feel like you know, a couple of years ago there was Vine and there was Musically, and now there's TikTok. So there's always gonna be different platforms that's gonna mm-hmm. be relevant in this year. So if TikTok were to get banned, I, I feel like there's gonna be another platform that will arise, and yes. people will just kind of convert onto that. Yes. Either that or an American company can end up buying TikTok, so it's not, it won't be Chinese. Only. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, our final, where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself marketing for a company. I I, I would love to be a face of a company, Yeah. you know, that I have the same values as them, and I would just be able to, I would, I would love to be able to help them reach their audience connect with the audience you know well one thing that you i often talk about confirmation um and uh uh, not only did you share that you were studying christianity to me in class but i asked you how come you you're just the most outgoing student in the class and you're not i mean you come out with an a right you come out with an a and uh, you're engaging the rest of the class they're just very um I mean, I don't know what. What do you want? To, what do you call it? They're just—they're looking at their phone. They're not engaging. They're like. Um, 
very introverted. I I feel like growing up, I moved a lot. My family was always moving to different places, different states. So for me, it was like my dad's always been an extrovert. So I think I got some genes from him. But yeah. also, I know I want friends in my life. I can't yeah. see myself just being alone. Like I know everybody needs friends, right? And I know yes. I want friends. So. When I was moving around, it's like either be quiet and sit by yourself at lunch or just mm -hmm. introduce yourself and see yes. who wants to be your friend and if you want to be their friend and it's not that hard. Just just go up to people and start talking. And But not everybody does that. But but everybody. you don't remember what you told me in class? I said, what what do you think is what set you apart? You don't remember? Because you said it was a course at MTSU you took. Dale Carnegie. <laughs> yes. I, I Tell us about that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's it's not that hard for me to make friends, but when it's with a group of people, I will be shy to talk to people, you know? Yes. Because especially if you feel like all eyes are on you, you're like, I don't know what to say. It, it, it can get a little nerve-wracking. Yeah. With the class Dale Carnegie, we just have lessons on how to talk to people, how to calm your nerves. Yeah. You know, how, how to be more present and how to actually listen to people while they're talking instead of just thinking about yeah. what am I going to say next like you're actually listening I guess but, being a better listener yeah, yeah. well you know what, what's strange uh, I call that this confirmation I had just wrote an article mm -hmm. in my Tennessee Ledger or issues of faith dot com paper about the importance of Dale Carnegie mm -hmm. in society and in school and the very next day you mentioned Dale Carnegie that's what I call kind of confirmation uh, speaking of friendships, I see you've got my, my buddy's newspaper, yes, Brack and Mayo, in here. Um, yeah, y'all need to do some bartering. I do some bartering with, with him in, in here. And uh, great, great people. You know, I noticed their paper over there. Yeah. But have you got to meet Bracken? I have not. Or his wife, Sarah? Yeah, you need to meet them. Sweet people. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah, we'll do it. Uh, we'll, in fact, we'll try to have some coffee. Or I think they're I think they're over at that. A Mexican restaurant right now playing chess. I can make the Mexican mocha. Well, let's do it. Let's. Do it. it was good. I liked it. You know. And what all did it have in it again? Um, we have Mexican. We have the menu right there. I don't remember. Oh, it had. Um, yeah, it had some nutmeg, cinnamon, um, some spi different spices. Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. You know. Well, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Give us your name again. Sweet and Nepal. How do you say your first name? Sweeta. Sweeta? Yeah. It's, and it's Nepal. It's spelled like sweet, but with one E, S-W-E-T-A. So okay. Sweeta. And you're looking for, you're going to be looking for a job, right? Yes. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much.